Hello, my name is Kai Stevens. Welcome to Hamlet Development Log Number Nine. So, I work for a company called Haven Studios. You can uh, leave a comment in the video. Uh, we're still kind of uh, doing this sort of uh, soon approach. We are on the point eight, uh, point oh eight on the live branch, and point ten on the beta branch. Uh, we also have the free demo, which <laughs> is more behind than the project. Anyway, so uh, we st uh, log eight uh, development log eight was on uh, April thirty first or uh, May thirty first. Yeah, somehow. Anyways, uh, last month, and then uh, we started uh, actually on Wednesday. Uh, we kind of uh, saw something we could uh, apply to this, and then um, we're going to update. We're actually, uh, this is on Sunday, uh, the 7th of April, and then we'll, um, we're going to go live on the 8th. Uh, anyway, so we, uh, we talked about a little bit of what's going on, uh, some of the topics. Uh, we have a coming soon uh, caveat coming up. We got this. Uh, it's uh, not a fun game bug, but it's actually a fixing a bug uh, we're going to showcase today. Uh, we've talked about some of the um, the game engine uh, we were talking about last time. We um, pretty much well along into that, uh, and then we're working on this uh, project. It's a uh, node database sort of idea, and then we talked about our goal, which is to ship. <laughs> if uh, if that's a shock to anybody, <laughs> you uh, the, the you know it's part of the the goal the premise of the last two videos. Anyway, so uh, a lot of this is uh, in development, not promised, uh, coming soon. We actually do have a second sort of uh, node database. We're actually going to um, showcase a um, piece of technology we don't think is going to make it into the game, but um, it's just something we've been playing with for a little while, so we're going to show that off just to, you know, have something cool to show and, you know, kind of, you know, working on um, some of this stuff. Um, yeah, so it's actually a, uh, not a, it's not a, um, let's see, where are we at here? this one? No. One of these? One of these is, ah, here we go. Yeah, one of these is not like the other. Okay, yeah, so um, I start recording here. So uh, this one's called uh, Where my, Where's My Resources? So we um, showcased a few of the changes that's been happening on the point seventeen, point eighteen ish uh, We're kind of still not sure what exactly we're going to do. It's probably going to be the 17 or 18 release. Um, could uh, I don't think it will rise any farther. Uh, will be the 18th release. Be Anyways, uh, so this uh, we uh, put together this. Uh, we uh, ran the game. We get this little uh, chunk that loads in, and then it's like um, it puts in the, the water, but it doesn't have anything else. So then we're kind of looking at uh, come through here. Uh, this is basically toxic. This is kind of where we're creating the maps. Uh, we're kind of looking at figuring out why um, these all these things happen and these sort of nodes are connected to these game objects uh, and we sort of um, add this this is kind of where how we build the node um, we sort of check you know check if the node is there if the node's not there then we create the node uh, which is kind of I think we're gonna go into the app yeah, so we're gonna go into the create the node and then this is sort of this just standard operating procedures to um, create this game object get the game object set up the node and do all this um, sort of um, create it to this um, and then we, uh, after that, um, <clears throat> we, uh, so yeah, so what, what, what happens is that we take this, um, this uh, game object that we're trying to, it's basically, we're kind of thinking of it as a piece of, of data, the node that is coming into the world uh, for whatever reason. And so we, we, you know, we set up the position of that database and we sort of are the, the position right here, which is the actual position now and, you know, various stuff like that. Uh, and then we set it up to the nodes created and, and sort of, you know, say, hey, this is actually in the game world right now. Well, in switching a lot of this over, we didn't have the, um, the Hamlet resources that we need. Uh, so when we came back through kind of debugging this, we we're like, oops, <laughs> we uh, commented that out because in the interim, we didn't have access to the trees and the rocks and all the things that were happening uh, for quite a while now uh, for various reasons. So... Anyway, so then we commented that out, uh, and then this comes in, um, and then you sort of we sort of take out a, a zoom out, and then bam, we we get our rocks and bushes. Uh, those are the these are the bushes, the green blocks, and the rivers are sort of waterways have already been there, and then we got trees. A lot of this is just random generation. We're gonna have to definitely clean it up and try to find ways to, um, you know, it seems um, pretty good random reason right now. It's not not meant to be. Um, inclusive to the the world is just meant to be you have access to the resources uh you can sort of see we've been um, playing with this uh, excuse me um we've been playing with this idea about 
Um, this is sort of a chunk's worth of distance. We've been sort of, um, this is quite old. We think we've uh, sped this up quite a bit. Um, but we sort of, you know, this is kind of what we want to see around us. Um, we don't go, we don't do loading screens. We just kind of want everything to load in um, quickly and, and not with, uh, without um, Minecraft does these chunk things. So it's, um, it's, you know, we're kind of trying to avoid all that and just kind of, you know, um, load in the world. And that's part of that no database we were talking about showing off. Um, it, um, it, uh, it, it loads things in differently and you know, tries various things to try to get everything to load. Um, and we kind of sort of realize that it's, it's uh, not really the, um, the amount of data that we're throwing at the game right now. Um, Unity can handle actually so much more uh, than it used to. So, you know, this used to chug out a computer. Now it's just uh, takes a few seconds. So, um, you know, and we're just kind of <laughs> amateurs and pretty indie-ish at this. So, anyways, that's the uh, just a kind of a progress that we've sort of fixed this uh, bug that we were trying to find our resources, and that's great. So, um, yeah, so we were talking about this. Uh, yeah, so we're just talking about this a little bit. Um, I guess this is kind of... Um, 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 maybe I should, t I was thinking maybe I should show, um, the other thing we have to say, but in it, we were kind of talking about that we started, uh, about a month ago now in the port 13, uh, and then we, we got up to point, uh, 17, and now, now we're up to point 05 in the engine, um, which will be point 6 for this weekend's work, but, I mean, this number actually will not be, in, most likely won't be shown, we'll have to, you know, and then here we are at the point 17 for the, we still haven't figured out what to do about that, so, uh, it's kind of talked about. Uh, this is some of the things we worked on. We worked on this uh, something called a zone loader. Um, we are looking at chunks for a long time. Uh, chunks are sort of like this 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 area around you in Minecraft. There's a, I think it's a nine by nine uh, chunk in Minecraft. No, it's like an eight by eight or some weird number. And well, it's probably there. They had reasons for their numbers, but we had various um, goals we want to accomplish. And it, it's it's chunks are interesting, but the problem with that is that they they load in bits and pieces at a time, which is great, but it's like you're not, we're not interested in the chunk per se. We want to know what's around the person. So we have this, um, um, a world that sort of loads in, um, and it, it loads in, you know, what's around that person, and that's what we're interested in, in is their sort of the zoned area. And it's, the zone is sort of like this idea that we have these, you know, you have this node, an area, a chunk, a, this, it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. And zone sort of like as a, a, at the limit of, uh, it shows you what you can see around you, uh, as in the game view, to sort of limit the, you know, so you can't, you can't see forever. It's a problem with a lot of games is, is, is you know, it's hard for games to see forever because you um, even your eyes <laughs> wig out after a while and be like, well, I know there's data out there. Uh, anyway, so that's kind of working on this project node. Uh, uh, this project node database is it's just another project, but it's sort of a, a test case where I can um, do a lot of um, crazy um, ideas and not um, not break the game and, and too much um, and sort of test out these ideas and. Um, and then, you know, link that back into the main game. But um, then we get down to this idea. Uh, we, we talked about the, the goal. I think uh, we're at the goal. Um, yeah, anyway, so we'll talk about the, um, the goal is to ship first and then ask questions later. So we think um, at this point we really want to ship st uh, stuff out there. Uh, we do want to ship. We, you know, we're talking about a lot of a lot of what we're not sh why we're not shipping is because it's not quite ready yet. Um, and um, anyway, so, and, uh, you know, it's just working on stuff. So, uh, and this sort of kind of, this is uh, the pre previous slide, but I just uh, I just kind of uh, didn't get it to change. But anyway, so this is still running that game studio. It's kind of, we, you know, it's sort of, it's sort of true in this respect that we're trying to build a lot bigger games, but it's, you know, we sort of have to work with what we have and, and, and we still need to expand on our knowledge and stuff. And that's still continuing. Um, uh, we'll see how this week goes, but it's, it's going to take a bit. I think we're kind of getting there, and then the dungeons aren't really the goal. Per se. I mean, they're sort of on the back end. Uh, the other thing we wanted to show off was um, this demo right here. Uh, this is a completely separate demo. It's, it's probably not going to be uh, um, released. Uh, I just thought it was just really fun to um, showcase. Um, let's see. We had to... Oh, there we go. Stats. Uh, anyways... Oh, you can actually turn on, well, 
Uh, so this is actually in 2019. A lot of these features um, won't be um, released, but uh, this is something we were playing with. Um, um, it's basically through, um, well, there's a lot of data. Anyway, so we're just going to show off the demo. This is definitely not going to be a feature, I think, that's going to make it into the game. Um, you can see um, it, it actually loads much faster. Um, can you even tell? It's, it's, it's shocking how fast this actually loads now. <laughs> But yeah, so you can can you tell the thing's loading? You can see it before. Um, we do spawn the character above just to try to. Um, but this sort of idea here's our our node world. Um, it's just kind of meant to be a test. Uh, this is our character. He's uh, not. He's kind of animating, but animating. I don't know. Um, I don't think he. Yeah, he doesn't have an attack. Uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah. So he, this is kind of our dungeon test to kind of test out some ideas. But you could. It's the the goal of this test is sort of to test out this. Um, these node heights and sort of think like it's you can sort of think of it like a minecraft world but we're sort of trying to break it down a little bit more and we're trying to get this like uh, vert uh, i think what's it verticality where we can go up and down um right now we we you know the the test world we're showing off right there and our movie is on a flat world and um uh yeah and then you can sort of see like um um the, like this is about 15 or 18 20 tiles which is kind of this is our camera angle that we're thinking about um, and that's it gives us this is kind of that zone look uh, the zone is also um, a, a square normally you would only have to think about this portion of the world but because of the uh, fact that you can just easily rotate around and we want things that happen around you um, you know you'll be able to pass uh, things that are happening and they'll be able to load so anyways uh we thought this is really cool um it's it's great to how fast this loads uh this is uh this is also part of an ecs test which is the nd component system we're not going to probably use nd component system for hamlet i think it would just put the development time way too long um already maybe add another six months or a year uh realistically to the schedule so we're not going to do that we're already on a project that's um looking to last another year or two um, uh, right now so it's pretty um, pretty intense so yeah so um, we think it's uh, pretty cool it's just we wanted to test out this is a lot with physics as well this is a physics enabled character we've um, sort of gone away from the idea of using physics for a lot of reasons um, it does add some cool stuff um, uh, and you know you can run off the edge too and then the physics will take over no but uh, yeah, so it's uh, definitely. Uh, but there's a lot of reasons for. Uh, we'll have to see. There's there's going to be physics involved in the mouse calculations and colliding with objects, and we'll have to see exactly you know what what the plan is eventually. But right now we're sort of trying to get away with the. Um, one of the things about the physics too, and it's kind of with the Navmus agents and a lot of these technologies is the goal of our project. One of the the pillars or goals of our project. Um, is it's going to run uh, uh, without anything interacting with it. it. You know, it has to all run in code in the background. So it can't have uh, physics, as far as I'm aware, I'm aware of, you can't have physics check uh, on the foreground. You know, it's physics have to be run on the foreground with, you know, various things. I mean, there's probably different simulated environments you can run in the background, but the whole point of this thing is to get the world as big as we can and to have as more interactions is going to be getting that those worlds to run in the background while you're doing things, while you're down and exploring the dungeon, your uh, farms or whatever are going to continue to grow, and um, various things like that. <laughs> I'm like, just like, yeah, this is so fun. Just to, it's kind of the, the appeal of Minecraft, I guess, just funs to walk around and, uh, and do stuff in the game. But uh, we'll have to see. This is kind of our, our, our sort of our... This is kind of one we. This is one of the things also too. We um, we might um, ship uh, right now. Um, I think we have sort of uh, started. I think we started down that path. Is uh, we've uh, took out the height for for now. Uh, we disabled it in the main in in the um, the main engine project for Hamlet right now, and um, we're going to ship probably without that, just so we can get the ship out quicker. Uh, now that we have all the ma majority of the things working, I think we still need to handle the RTS elements. We want to get that back up and running. I thought about just eliminating the RTS or the campaign or sandbox or whatever we're calling it right now. 
uh, I think it's just the sandbox mode, but um, and then versus the adventure, the adventure mode is, is sort of this where you can walk around and and explore the world and chop down trees and do things, um, which is great and it's 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 working uh, right now. But we also want to get back that um, that um, the functionality of be able to move a character around just to kind of test it out a little bit longer. We have some long term plans for that. And um, anyways, this video is probably getting long long enough. And um, yeah, so we'll have to see. Um, I think the let's see if I think if I just click this button. Uh, this is uh, kind of thanks to Holistic 3D. She's an amazing Australian developer. Um, and yeah, so it probably loads just as fast. Um, and you can see like this is actually um, this is actually a, um, a sort of extension of sort of everything I've been doing with what she was working on. Um, anyways, but there's no actual pieces of, which is I'm not a big fan of ECS. There's no pieces of data here. You can't click on anything. Like if I just turn off this, um, uh, turn this off and say don't use ECS, then this will just boot back up into a, a sort of standard, and it loads just as quick. Um, we could obviously, um, uh, I think we have gizmos enabled, but now you can. Oops, come on, turn them off. Uh, you can actually now click on things, and I think that's much more helpful for me because I want to know. Like, where am I at? There's a many different ways to do this from ECS, but um, I want to kind of know what this object is, and I can actually go over and then click on this. Uh, oops. Well, here, anyways, click on this one. One of these. Oh, there we go. I'm oh, sorry, it didn't ha And then, anyways, I can now click on the... Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't actually have the Node Geos. Um, anyway, so there's no, no, no data attached to these objects. It's just meant to be a quick retest of some technology but anyway so it's uh it's sort of a good test of what's happening i think uh, ecs will be amazing and entities and all that will be uh great in the long term of the project um but you know post post steam hamlet 1.0 launch um you know we are t you know talking that's i mean yeah this is kind of one of the, the this sort of demo here and everything i've been talking about unfortunately is not going to be included in hamlet i just thought um, it's just going to hopefully give this is kind of going to be more what Hamlet looks like and it's going to be back to the um, and then you can sort of see the um, um, I think we are did we actually fix um, this is not I think the what we need to work on next is this is not is generating but it's not generating at the I didn't realize it wasn't generating at the correct locations um, anyway so it's we'll have to look at that and I, I did actually I think um, I think I broke a few other things, but you know we're trying to, um, um, I, you know, I kind of want to talk about that now. But I'm like, oh, I'd, I'd have to load up everything. But maybe we'll talk about that next time, I guess, uh, when we actually figure out what's wrong. But uh, it's actually quite of an interesting, for me at least, it's an interesting mental exercise of, you know, what what type of arrays, you know, because this, like right here, if this is zero zero and it goes zero to to, to uh, sixteen, I think, or you know, whatever this happens to be at the time. Um, it, you know, this goes from zero, and then so this is sixteen, sixteen. But really, um, and this is kind of what this is trying to actually do. You can sort of see that this is zero, zero, and it's going minus eight to plus eight, uh, which is sort of the same thing as going from zero to sixteen. But it sort of centralizes the world around zero, zero, which is kind of what we think um, happens a little bit more. Uh, you know, and gives us a little bit more room to play with, but, you know, and it makes some, and uh, zero zeros down here and the calculations are always positive, it makes for some simpler calculations, but it doesn't make for as, as exciting or as, as robust of a system as we're, I'm trying to build, so maybe a little too much, but hopefully, uh, anyway, so that's, I think that's pretty much good for the, um, the de development log nine, um, we'll probably get back to dungeons, um, I guess that's sort of it, why we're sort of like, I think it's time to say ship first uh, uh, because we're sort of like, we, we're sort of wanting to get to the dungeons. We're wanting to get to more, not so much the dungeons, but I want to get more to the character interactions uh, and um, get some, some of the town, ele town elements together and start building out the world uh, and get into some of the content that I've, I've been putting off. And I've been playing a lot with the last month about these, these nodes and how fast I can get them to load and you know are, are we doing chunks are we doing zones or you know how do we you know segregate um the data 
sort of you know s separated out so it's it's like we got these different pieces and it's just sort of like you know it's getting kind of long in the tooth and it should sort of let ship uh, and get the update out and then then we can start um, pushing off some of these more towards long-term projects and and um, you know continue to learn you know in the new uh, stuff going forward uh, in 2019 and um, stuff like that uh, uh, but anyway so I think that's pretty good uh, so hopefully we'll get back to you know it's just there's something so I you know I'll probably spend six months on this nine months on this and then just go back to this some set something really simple about this like you can see the nodes are always in place and they got various things um, but it's like there's something really simple and, 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 and nice about this and and um, anyway so hopefully we'll find the new the new look and feel of, of Hamlet going forward uh, but for now I think that would be just getting the next update out there and getting uh, moving forward uh, you know I, the project's moving forward that's for sure I mean I'm spending you know um, I think we, was, we clocked over 60 or 80 hours working this week you know and still we're still working you know we still got another day to go so it's like yay but uh, yeah, so but you know I, I that's and that you just sort of take the weekends off. I talked about that. I think a few, uh, quite a few in the design log or some. I also did miss the design log this week, and I'm like, oh, um, I, you know, maybe I could have talked about a lot of cool things, but wasn't sure what to, you know, I was coming off the. Uh, I, I'm not sure if there's another roguelike to put out there. I think I'm. There's more topics, but we have sort of covered a, the majority of it. Anyway, so it's it's definitely one of those. Um, but the weekends are sort of more of the fun, like, let's learn cool stuff, and I thought this was kind of semi-related to, you know, work back with Hamlet, which is always, it's never the, I'm not going to work on Hamlet on the weekend, it's just like, hey, I, I want to work on ECS, or I want to work on 2019, and learns, you know, it's like about learning the technology, so when it comes to, hey, you know, we're still going to ship with uh, Unity 5.6, I think, um, for the next year, and I doubt we we're gonna want to make a switch over to, to 2019 for this project. We've been kind of talking about doing it for uh, other sort of side projects um, and sort of get more familiar with it. Um, because, but right now it's just it's just it's, it would be too hard to go backwards, um, and it's it feels like 566 is, is stable or 567 I guess now. Uh, it feels like it's stable and working and and I, it does everything I want it to do. And has all the, excuse me, has all the technology and um, um, various everything's ready. You know, we have the scriptable objects, we have the the meshes, the textures, everything's sort of there. Text Mesh Pro, everything's you know we need to build this game. Uh, and this in this sort of and that's the sort of also to keep the scope of the game to this level. Um, you know, maybe not be tempted to add in ECS that I think would just ECS would just blow this project and. It'd make really awesome improvements, and I think it would be, you know, Hamlet 2.0 will make it even better. But right now, it's just like, no, it's a little too early. I, st you know, I, st I still. Um, anyway, so hopefully we'll, um, you know, can leave a comment uh, in the video, uh, or you know, um, still talking about Discord, and I think we need to we need to move forward with the project and get it sort of. I think we want to get it into a better state. Uh, we only have a few vi views on this video, but uh, I think as things progress and things get a lot further, we'll, um, and we're not promoting it, we're just sort of uh, doing the videos to sort of, you know, drum, you know, sort of talk about, sort of digest what we've done for the week, uh, but as the game sort of solidifies and we're sort of sure this is what we're doing and what the game's going to look like, then we're going to sort of uh, start putting that out there um, and hopefully get some better reviews and um, people are going to be a lot more happier when it's it's out of that. It's sort of in that in that in that it, early access is so weird. It's like people are like, oh, the game's got to be complete before it's in early access, and it's like, wait a second here. Uh, people are, you know, I mean, early access to me is pre-alpha. It's just, I, you know, I don't know. But uh, that's I guess that's a that's a, maybe that should be the next design discussion. <laughs> Honestly, I fall on the side of, hey man, let's put it out there. You know, I, I'm hoping. You know, it's, it's like the very first people are like, oh look, he wants to get feedback. Ha ha ha! And it's like, yeah, that's that's exactly what I want. I want people to say, man, this this sucks. And you know, it's like um, I developed uh, a Super Mario clone. 
uh, Super Mario Brothers for an, like the old Nintendo game. I spent two months working on this this you know clone of this game, and it was like it was a beautiful clone. It had the first level, like three or four levels. It had all the mo- all the mobs, all every the entire first level was you know almost pitch perfect. And I was playing through it and doing tons of stuff. I don't think I got the teleporting down yet, uh, and stuff like that. And I was I was playing it for two months, and it was like, and it was like, I, I didn't have, I didn't, I, I don't have any friends that were playing the game. I was, I didn't think about that. So when we got to the actual school project of, hey, other people are, you know, we, I went around and played everybody else's game or everybody, and then people started playing my game and they're like, this doesn't feel like Mario. I, I don't understand what, what are you trying to do here? And it, it really sort of opened up my eyes to the fact that, that you really need to get that feedback out there and you, you just get so bogged down into what you're working on and how you think something is is happening and it was and and on that that first uh, video feedback of this game is, is something I'll cherish and really look back on and say hey how have I improved how have I fixed their concerns because it was just like oh wow and let's just sort of you get sort of you know and that's it's sort of one of the problems now in these in these studios where it's like you spend three four five years developing a project or you know, or even two three a year or two whatever and you don't even get any feedback or any and then you just put it out there and expect people to love it and it's like whoops you know you're sort of developing in a vacuum and and even the the best focus groups or the best people don't really you know people just don't want to give honest feedback nowadays and you know and and so it's nice to have that feedback uh so yeah so you know, and I'm, I'm, I also understand, hey, I'm a pretty small, um, we're a very small development studio. We, we, we're on the very low end of the price point. We're actually now realizing we're at the mid-level of the price point right now. But I, I think the, uh, the the goal of the game will hopefully match that level. Uh, and then, well, yeah, so, and you know, if it takes me a year or two to do that, that's definitely what I'm going to go for. Because it just gives me a, definitely a, that's, that's why I like uh, running Haven Studios and re- running a, a company because it feels like I can really focus on the projects. Uh, that's one thing I would like to do is sort of get this sort of wrapped up, you know, sort of not just in, in ter- you know, but just be able to focus on the things and, and work on the, um, you know, make improvements in sort of, uh, you know, roundabout ways and stuff instead of feeling like, um, I'm, you know, sort of, I'm, it's not any pressure. I mean, it's just my own, my own, uh, oh, oh, I haven't shipped an update in three weeks. That's no one's saying, hey, you know, where's the update? It's just me going, hey, I should get an update out there. Anyways, thanks very much. You have a great one. You take care. What's this, 30 minutes again? Is this a real Makaya video? 27. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, well, you got into the some point, Makaya. You take care, all. Thanks very much for checking it out. Have a good one.